Meet Edward, the littlest southern white rhino in the San Diego Zoo Safari Park. Born at the end of July, he's already a big boy. He is adorable. He is fantastic. We are just so lucky to be able to have him. Adorable little Eddie is the first southern white rhino born through artificial insemination in North America. That's an important step toward bringing back another rhino subspecies from the brink of extinction. This is Nola, a female northern white rhino. She died in 2015. The animals have been hunted to obliteration in the wild, and today there are only two northern white rhinos left in the entire world, both elderly females living in captivity. So the subspecies seems doomed, or maybe not. Part of biologist Barbara Durant's job involves giving ultrasound exams to pregnant rhinos. Not an easy task when your patient weighs about 1,600 kilos. And you can see the movement. Yes. Durant is leading an effort to bring back the northern white rhino with a precious clutch of the animal's stem cells and an audacious plan. A stem cell is a cell that has the potential to be any other cell in the body. Eventually, they will, we want to differentiate them all the way to sperm and eggs. But there's a big catch. Female rhino anatomy, it turns out, is complicated. The cervix, which you have to go through to deposit the semen, is very convoluted. It looks like a series of rings like this. So we have to go in a series of switchback turns. So we're going to have to have something that is very flexible that can go around all those curves. And that's where engineering professor Mike Yip comes in. He wasn't thinking about impregnating rhinos when he developed this flexible robotic catheter for microsurgery. But it turns out it's perfect for the job. We've developed a robotic tool that is a very thin, long, flexible device that we can very accurately steer um, through these narrow channels um, so that we can get very deep into the rhino. Uh, uterine body and deposit the specimens uh, as needed. The ultimate goal of this project is to produce a self-sustaining herd of northern white rhinos, first in captivity and then return to the wild in Africa. That goal is decades away and Durant says she may not live to see it happen, but that's okay. If we don't lay the groundwork, it's not going to happen. So I think that what we're doing now is extremely important for the long game, for the long haul. Dedicated scientists and a bold plan to save one of the world's rarest creatures. Rob Reynolds, Al Jazeera, Escondido, California.